Hello, my name is Dave Slayton. I'm Executive Vice President of Dynamic Animation Systems. DAS is dedicated to the development of distributed, interactive, and immersive virtual reality applications for defense, training systems, entertainment, and commercial applications. What you're about to see is a video about our new product, VICE, the Virtual Interactive Combat Environment. Please enjoy. We think it's useful for you. State-of-the-art technologies, innovative business strategies, behind the scenes, insights from cutting-edge users around the globe on World Business Review. Welcome to World Business Review. I'm Norman Schwarzkopf. The demands placed on today's military and security forces have dramatically changed. New training techniques have been developed to address urban environment and the skills required for policing and securing these areas. Dave Slayton, Executive Vice President of Dynamic Animation Systems, tells us about VICE, the Virtual Interactive Combat Environment. Welcome, Dave. Thank you, sir. It's an honor to be here. Now your company has developed a system called VICE. What is it and how does it work? The Virtual Interactive Combat Environment is a consumer off-the-shelf product for team tactics, techniques, and procedures training. The system enables students to individually locomote through diverse virtual environments and have individual fire capabilities as well so that they can practice communication, teamwork, and leadership so that they can learn how to more effectively accomplish the missions of today. For more, let's go to this World Business Review field report. Moving. Moving. While training systems have historically focused on individual skills, today's operations in urban environments call for an emphasis on policing and security enforcement team skills training. The device system is used, it allows a trainer to be able to take soldiers, put them into a virtual environment, have them training, shoot, move, communicate in a very short uh, period of time. The device system allows a trainer to be able to take their soldiers, put them into an interactive environment, be able to analyze mistakes as they're made, be able to pause the training, be able to correct those mistakes before those mistakes become negative, negative reinforced training that you're going to have to go back and fix later. Existing training systems focus on marksmanship and danger recognition. New approaches and technologies are needed. Well, as a SWAT commander and trainer, I've worked closely with operators to prepare them for scenarios that they encounter in the real world. The VICE system allows me to economically prepare officers for cognitive skills development training without the expense associated with traveling to expensive facilities and renting equipment. Simulators are well known in law enforcement community and VICE has removed some of the inherent limitations that are associated with those simulators. Additionally, VICE allows operators to independently maneuver and interact with their environment and practice team skills whereas other simulators have a tendency to focus on individual shoot, no shoot, decision making skills. For World Business Review, I'm Christopher Thomas reporting. Dave, what is the main purpose of the VICE system? The VICE system is intended to allow students to have an environment to train together as a team where they can learn how to accomplish their mission easily, effectively, and to reduce collateral damage, to reduce fratricide, and to really effectively learn communication, teamwork, and leadership skills. So what are the key components of the VICE system? The VICE system consists of a student station, which is a lane enclosure with a, a high visual display capability, which is our own technology, uh, as well as individual uh, firing and maneuver control capabilities, an instructor station, which is incredibly powerful, allows the instructors to prepare for after action review, to interact with the students, uh, to monitor and maintain capability throughout the training session, an observer station, which is an independent 3D God's eye view of the environment, and then the optional content creation station, which is how we develop our environments and can allow people to develop their own. Well, why did Dynamic Animation Systems build VICE? We built VICE because we saw a need. There was a training gap between the simplistic marksmanship and uh, shoot-no-shoot decision-making training systems that exist today 
and shoot houses where are, which are not very reconfigurable, which are hot, expensive to maintain, and field training, which has the same problem. Uh, you can, with Vice, you can have an unlimited capability to develop scenarios within a given environment, and you can train together as a team in places which are extremely dangerous or expensive to train in. Yeah, my shoot house experience certainly backs up what you say. How difficult is it to develop new training scenarios using Vice? It's very easy. Uh, instructors can easily lay down uh, new opponents or modify pre-existing scenarios, um, give new behaviors to artificial intelligence capabilities to create a new mission for students to train against in a very rapid uh, time frame. For example, uh, previously this would take days for them to do offline in the, in the previous systems, but right now we can redevelop them in a matter of hours. How does the training scenario development with VICE differ from other systems? Well, previous systems, you had to uh, go out and do expensive video recording and then marking of where you are live shooting on a particular target. Or if you're in a shoot house, you'd have to hire new actors or you'd have to reconfigure the shoot house in order to do something. Or if it's a field training experience, you have to hire actors or set up with a lot of training uh, personnel in order to accomplish the mission. But with Vice, you can do it all within the instructor station at no additional cost. Well, you know, given the world situation these days, can you build specific environments for mission rehearsals and mission planning? Absolutely. We can do that. All we need is some source data, and we can take off and do that. We can build very accurately the exact location of a particular mission, or we can do something that's geospecific like in a very rapid amount of time if we don't have all that data. So you can have a very realistic training capability without having to be there. And, and what training benefits does VICE system provide to the instructors? Well, one of the unique capabilities of, of the VICE system is that the instructor station has the ability to uh, prepare for after action review through an automatic bookmarking capability. For example, they don't have to see certain events to occurring for them to be able to go back to that during after action review, which is a, a VCR-like uh, playback and rewind capability of the actual simulation itself but they also can bookmark things that they would like to see, go back over for specifically what students did really well or they did poorly. Um, and additionally, they can uh, directly interact with a simulation while it's ongoing. So if a student has, for example, a set of students are clearing a room in the close quarters battle technique and they miss checking a suspect for weapons, well, the, the instructor can notice that, take over the, the non-combatant and pull out a weapon. They'll never forget to check for weapons again. Now, you know, I've seen a lot of these training uh, things come along and they've been with you shortly and then all of a sudden they disappear. Is there any danger that VICE will become outdated like other training systems have or are these limitations to the VICE system? There are virtually no limits to what we can do with VICE. One of the unique capabilities is that instructors have the ability to rapidly adjust their training scenarios to meet the modern threats of today. For example, the asymmetric threat we face in the Middle East is rapidly changing their tactics on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. And instructors can easily adapt their training missions to that so that when students get into a scenario, they're not learning the scenario. They're learning the training goals because things are changing very quickly and very effectively addressing what is the problem today. How about the military and law enforcement? Is this expandable to that area? Absolutely. We have strong interest from the law enforcement community in using the system and we're getting a lot of good feedback on how they would use it in, in multiple effects. Give me some examples of other areas where vice might be used. Well, uh, uh, it, for example, in law enforcement, uh, the SWAT community is very interested in using this, but there's also a strong interest in using this in some of the homeland security areas or in other operations other than war, um, or in fact, maybe for overseas security interests. Let's take a look to the future. Where, where do we go from here? Well, uh, VICE in the immediate future is getting more immersive. Instead of just a single lane enclosure, um, we have a 120 degree instantaneous field of view, which is uh, a greater presence for team leaders and uh, for crew surf weaponry, for example. Um, and then we, the next step beyond that is a full wraparound where you could have um, you know, multiple students within an environment, a single lane enclosure, or you could call a training pod where you could network multiple of them together. And in fact, you could have vehicles in there. So a convoy trainer, or you could have this as um, just a larger, more immersive environment for many, many more students. 
Hey, th thank you very much for being here and giving us this enlightened discussion of what's a very, very important subject. We really appreciate you being here. Well, thank you very much for having me. And thank you for watching. Until next time for World Business Review, I'm Norman Schwartzkopf.